Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with my New York Toy Fair 2019 vlog 007. I've been messing around with this setup for a few days. I had Black Panther here at first. I've been toggling with this and trying to figure out what I want to do. Uh, I realized that when I had Black Panther here, it kind of looked like uh, it kind of looked like a museum, <laughs> museum, but it was really supposed to be him. I guess in just some extravagant portion of his estate where he could look outside through the windows to the jungle and there was a lion out there, what have you. But in the picture, it kind of just looked like a painting or something like that. So I try to really, really push the limits here and make it look like Joker's got some some guys locked up in the lion enclosure somewhere. And he's got his top goon right here. I'm going to expand on this, but we want to get into some footage from NECA. A walkthrough with my man Danny LeBlanc and Stefan of NECA. So enjoy that. I'll be back with you shortly. All right, guys, this is Daniel coming from Articulated Comic Art. I'm here with Stefan at the NECA booth, and we're going to do a little walkthrough today. He's going to talk to us about some new products. Hey, everybody, this is Stefan from NECA. Welcome. It's Toy Fair 2019, and we've got tons of stuff to go through today. So I'm just going to walk through everything real quick, and if there are any questions, uh, you guys will let me know. So first up, we got uh, Mego Bob Ross, or the retro cloth Bob Ross, I should say. Um, we have him with his paint brushes, with his easel, with his uh, color paint palette. We've got the Golden Girls, Sophia, Blanche, Rose, and Dorothy. Those are coming out. Is Sophia, that a four pack or no singles? singles? And Cho Sophia will actually comes with a cheesecake and an opening and closing purse as well. We've got the Goonies. We're showing Chunk and Sloth there with the statue and their pirate hats. And then we have the Karate Kid series, a whole uh, series of Karate Kid figures. Mr. Miyagi and Wax on Wax Off Daniel. We've got Johnny in the skeleton outfit with his uh, headphones. And we've got the Tournament 2-pack, the Valley Ridge Tournament 2-pack. And Johnny and Daniel actually come with the trophy. And they come with the poster and the karate mat nice. in the whole set. So, yeah, that's what we got coming out now. Does it come with that, like, Dio back piece as well? No, no, that's part okay. of the, that's going to be part of the box, so that'll be, like, behind okay. them in the box. But they do come with the karate mat, the red square there, okay. and a poster. So a couple of paper goods. You can flesh out a kind of diorama scene. <coughs> and Miyagi comes with the bonsai tree and some chopsticks with a fly and that sort of thing. So a little wax on, wax off. There a little wax there. off action there, wax on, wax off. And uh, the heads will be swappable, so you can actually put... Uh, the Daniel tournament head with the oh, nice. bandana oh. on the wax on wax off Daniel cool. for that scene. Do you have so, a uh, price point on any of these guys yet? Uh, it's all for about the standard Mego price. They're all separate except for the two packs. I think the two pack is something like 50, but the standard Migos are between 25 and 30, somewhere okay. in there. Great. Yep. So the retro cloth figures there. Um, and then continuing on with some of the retro cloth style, we've got Vic from Megadeth from Peace Cells. We're showing off Dystopia Vic from Megadeth album, and Scott Ian, which is available through his website from Anthrax, and Ace Ventura, which has shipped, and he comes with the parrot, the dove, the monkey, and three different heads. No gum. <laughs> no, no, but we've got Ace Ventura, he shipped, and he comes with his little business card too, which nice. is in the scale. Awesome. So yeah, tons of this stuff's already out. Yeah, let's move over to the Aliens and Predators section. All right. This Alien is a lot of bread and, and butter for a lot of our uh, guys. Absolutely. So these are our two biggest lines, continuing lines. And um, the Predator, we're continuing with figures from the new movie. Um, the new movie has, of course, finished, but it's on Blu-ray now. And in the bonus features are the Emissary Predators. So it's known kind of in the fan base that this was... these. Predators were cut from the film. Yep. They did not include the deleted scene on the Blu-ray. However, you can see the Emissary 1 and Emissary 2 on the bonus features, actually. And it shows their mandibles working and them walking around. And uh, They were actually with Edward James Olmos in a scene. So okay. that was cut from the film, and a lot of other stuff was cut from the movie. But um, we had these sculpted and ready to go, so we'd let, we thought we'd have the fans. They're cool Predators. They look awesome. They look badass. And they come with the machine gun and, and uh, interchangeable heads as well with the mask. 
All right, I added a little more in because I wanted some uh, some symmetry here on the left. So got Joker kind of talking to Deathstroke. I guess maybe Deathstroke had a bounty on these guys, brought them in, and Joker put them in the uh, lion enclosure. He's got his top shotter here, uh, which is basically just the Mezco Punisher, the first release of Punisher, that body with the Marvel Legends um, uh, Hydra goon head, which actually pops on the peg. I've said this before. Popeye Scully on. And uh, everything else is just Mezco here, even the guys in the back getting mauled to death or about to be mauled are uh, Mezco bodies as well. Just a little kit bashing. It's the zombie bodies from the Dawn of the Dead with uh, Ash Head on the guy that's still alive. And um, Alex on the guy that's down back there. And that lion I think is from Narnia if I'm not mistaken. And then I've got my man uh, Ron from Lola Studios, his diorama. And this glass pane here that I stole from work. And uh, I'm okay with this so far. We'll see. So some of the viewers have so. been asking in, uh, on uh, some of our Facebook groups and stuff. Pictures that leaked yesterday. Are some of these two-ups of some of these figures? Or are these going to be actual size on some of these so guys? So we have one. All are actual size except for this guy right here. And okay, Parker. the so Alpha Predator the 100. Alpha the 100th Predator, we've done Predators since 07, and this is our 100th one. Okay. It's our first NECA original design, kind of, full-on figure, and it's our 100th kind of gift to the fans. And we thought we'd kind of go to the original, the Alpha Predator. So before he had technology, when he was just a hunter in the jungle of the world, um, and we based off the design kind of like the prototype that Jean-Claude Van Damme was wearing in the original film. He was wearing a kind of a bug outfit before they changed the design. Um, so we thought we'd base it off of that. But that is a two-up. That okay. is not coming out. That will be shrunk down to the 7-inch. Okay. But the Assassin Predator shown from the movie is the deluxe final size. Okay. So he's actually he is actually 12 inches once you stretch him fully out. Okay. And that is that is final toy size as well. But Alpha is the two-up. All right. So that will be shrunk. Moving on, some aliens. That's right. We got Lavascape Predator from the from the from the movie as well with an LED light up head. The first time you guys have done an electronic first function. First time. First time an electronic function in the eyes. And uh, it's, it was very difficult, but we made it happen. So um, push button. It's a little push button right there on the side. It's a little targeting scope. Okay. And the, the whole front part comes back. You can switch the batteries out, but that was... hopefully that'll hold. So that's a new ultimate coming. It comes with the uh, the damaged mask, the machine gun, the shuriken, etc. So, yeah. For the classic stuff, we're continuing basically where Kenner left off in the 90s. And we're kind of doing what if Kenner had continued. So those base, those designs are, are fairly basic. There's some straight cuts and some or some added articulation and some uh, firing cannons and that sort of function spring articulation. This year is the 40th anniversary of the original Alien film, 1979. So we're bringing it back to the original. And there's our Parker figure at two up. He will be shrunk down to seven inch scale. Um, but that's the first time we've ever done Parker and uh, hopefully we'll have more of the crew out later nice. this year as well. We're bringing back focus to that original movie. It's brilliant. It's been 40 years and it still holds Now up, here's so. some stuff that I remember from the early 90s. Yeah, so this is hitting stores very soon. It has shipped from China. It will be in stores in the next month or so. We've got Apone, Scorpion, and the Snake Alien. And all those are based off of the original Kenner designs. Yep. Um, so we've taken some of those designs and flipped them into the more of a movie look, mm -hmm. a movie, um, a movie aesthetic. And for the classic stuff, we're actually reversing it and taking out the movie <coughs> stuff and making it into a Kenner design. Gotcha. So it's stuff like that. That uh, yeah. So that's series 13 will be the Kenner wave. Okay. And then series 14, we're going right into Resurrection. So we've got Ripley 8 from the movie Alien Resurrection. We've got a deluxe newborn. And he will come with that black stand, so you can pose okay. him in different ways. He has tons of uh, joints. You can squat him up and lower the stand. Or you can extend the stand and pull him, have him fully erect. And uh, this is actual toy size, too. So he's, that's, that's the actual toy. And then we have the Resurrection Warrior. And his head can go all the way back in swimming pose. You can have him on a floating stand. You can buy separately with NECA. And then we have Alien 3 Creature Pack, where we have the Queen Chestburster, the Queen Facehugger, the Dog Alien, or the Bambi Burster, excuse me, and the Dog. Uh, the Dog has the interchangeable heads, um, awesome. alive and dead. <laughs> yeah. 
So that's Alien 3, and then we have the two fugitives that are out now. One is the Target exclusive, and one is the standard Ultimate fugitive. So. The AVP Capcom assortment uh, is finishing up this year. We have the three aliens that are coming out, which is the Chrysalis alien, the Arachnoid alien, and the Razor Claws alien. And then we're finishing out the year with the Dutch and Lynn 2-pack. Okay. And that will be the whole wave of Capcom, the original game. Nice. And I actually played that game for the first time last year with Randy, and we beat it, and it was great. It was a lot of fun. I had no idea that the Mad Predator is actually on the good guy's side, so... Anyway, yep, so that finishes out that whole line, and that's what we got for Alien and Predators. All right, I got to get up out of here. This has probably been a little over 10 minutes. This is part one of uh, NECA's walkthrough. I'll be uh, probably taking this down this evening and setting up something else to go through uh, part two because I went to Michael's today and picked up a few odds and ends. Shout out to my man, John Connor. I found that... Uh, that starry uh, post of the paper backdrop. So I'll be working with that a little bit. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned for more. Thank you for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.